Hi, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and I'm going to do another update on this uh, interstellar comet, and that's in quotes. I can actually make an attempt at this name, don't look that hard. Oumuamua. Uh, Oumuamua is a star, cigar shaped asteroid that passed by Earth last month. Dr. Jason Wright of Penn State suggests that it could be sent by an alien civilization. He claims the object's motion movement is the same as a craft whose engines have failed. Today, scientists led by Professor Stephen Hawking will use high-tech scanners to discover if Oumuamua was sent by an alien civilization. <coughs> Tonight, scientists led by Stephen Hawking are using high tech scanners to discover, discover if a huge cigar shaped comet is in fact an alien probe. Now, one Austr astronomer claims that the space rock called Oumuamua can be an alien spacecraft with broken engines and is tumbling through our solar system. Dr. Jason Wright from Penn State University suggests that a broken alien spacecraft move in exactly the same way as an interstellar comet. Oumuamua is about a quarter mile long, 265, 260 feet wide, and currently traveling at 196,000 miles per hour. That's fast. Uh, <laughs> that's real fast. Let's see what that is in minutes. Okay, I did the calculations. 54 miles per second, approximately. Writing in his blog, Dr. Wright, an associate professor of astronomy and astrophysics at Penn State University, says such derelict craft, if they are not traveling so fast that they escape the galaxy, eventually thermalize with the stars and end up drifting around like any other interstellar comet or asteroid. In fact, since they presumably no longer have attitude control, one would expect they eventually begin to tumble, and if they are very rigid, the tumbling might distinguish them from ordinary interstellar asteroids, and in fact, just because their propulsion is broken doesn't mean their radio transmitters will be broken. Dr. Wright... <laughs> Sorry, I had to sneeze. Dr. Wright suggests that the object could be a Von Neumann Probe, a theoretical self-replicating spacecraft that visits star systems. He had such a discovery implying there are a lot of these things in the solar system at any given moment, even if they are deliberately targeting the sun. They are hard to spot, and we miss most of them, and so lots of opportunities to study them. Dr. Wright previously suggested that the mysterious dimming star of uh, K1C, KIC 846 to 852, also known as Tabby Star, could be caused by the only mega structure called the Dyson Sphere. That's where you have a uh, small internal sun and s spheres built around it. The latest comments come ahead of a project later in the day in which scientists will use high tech scanners to discover, discover if. Oumuamua was sent by an alien civilization. A team of scientists called Breakthrough Listen will use the world's largest directable radio telescope at Green Bank in West Virginia to follow up for 10 hours today at 3 p.m. Eastern. They're listening for electromagnetic signals no stronger than those emitted by a mobile phone. They cannot be produced by natural celestial bodies. If they find them, it would be proof that extraterrestrial forces really could be at play. For the moment, they are trying to contain their excitement, but the name they've given this bizarre object betrays their optimism. Umuamua is a Hawaiian term meaning a messenger from afar arriving first. I thought it sounded Hawaiian. That's why I tried pronounce, finally decided to try pronouncing it. Most intriguingly, it's the wrong shape for an asteroid. They're typically round. 
Professor Hawking and his colleagues at the Breakthrough Listen Report, researchers working on long-distance space transportation have previously suggested the cigar or needle shape is best, most likely architecture for an interstellar craft, since this will minimize friction and damage from interstellar gas and dust. So there you have it. Uh, this is... I'm lapping this up. I'm lapping this up big time. Another idea is that Oumuamua is flying very cleanly without emitting the usual cl cloud of space dust that astronomers observe around asteroids. Experts say this suggests that it's made of something dense, probably rock, but possibly metal. It was first detected on October 19th by a long-running research program called Penn Stars, Pan Stars, which uses powerful telescopes to photograph and monitor the night sky in the University of Hawaii. It's amazing, its amazing speed has led some experts to conclude that it's the first such object to have come toward us from outside the solar system. Analysts also say that faintly red color indicates it's been subjected to interstellar cosmic radiation, which is harsher than we experience in our solar system. This goes on and on. Uh, I'm hoping they uh, get something, because I'm... I just love to see NASA squirm. Oh, they'll come up with some... They'll come up with some technical babble explanation why it can't be... Uh, E.T., but... They'll squirm, believe me. They don't know where this thing came from. But uh, as interacting with planets, this inset over here says, says it came from the direction of the constellation Lyra, looped around the sun, and will never return. Don't count on it. Others have suggested the comet did come from the Earth, but interacted with Jupiter and another planet which changed its orbit. I don't understand that. Alright, that's it. Uh, let's hope for the best on this one. I can't wait. I'm Artifacts of Mars. I'm feeling excited. Thanks for watching.